All right, welcome back. Happy Saturday, folks. Hope you guys are doing well wherever you are, whatever it is that you're up to. It's been a while since I've been posting on this channel. I've been really busy with work and posting content on the Nagia Stories channel, which is my company's vlog. So if you are interested in following uh, me and the rest of the crew as to what, what goes on in the software company and hearing about some of my thoughts uh, as the founder uh, in terms of what's going on, join us there. Look back at my previous video. Uh, prior to this one, I linked to the Nagia Stories channel right in the title of that one. So if you can click on it, it'll take you there to Nagia Stories. So in this video, I wanted to talk about money and finances. And so it's uh, uh, a topic that I think, you know, it's something that came to my mind just because I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube that are really depressing, actually. They have depressing stats about the savings rate and just like the average 401k balances of Americans across all ages um, is depressingly low. And it is, to me, it's alarming because it means that a lot of people are going to go into their retirement years and not have a whole lot of income. Even though people might think they're saving okay, there's no way they're gonna be able to do very well and they're gonna be left to rely largely on social security, which is not really all that much. I think the average social security check is something like 1700 bucks and that's not a whole lot to, to, to get by on. You know, if you follow the 4% rule or even the 3% rule for withdrawal rates, when you take into account some of the average 401k balances out there, people aren't gonna be able to take out very much money per year and still stay, stay liquid in terms of having uh, savings, retirement savings available for future years in their retirement. So it's really depressing. And this is something that can be solved if you if you invest like the rich, okay? If you invest like the rich. And this is what I wanted to talk about. Like if you, there, there are a couple sayings. There, there's like, you know, the, the one of the sayings is, you know, the rich spend like the poor and, and the poor spend like the rich. And that's because like people who don't have a lot of money or who are in their middle class and have money but aren't rich, what they'll do is they'll spend their money on stuff that doesn't really matter all that much. Like they always want a bigger, better house, a bigger, better car, a bigger, better vacation, more and more clothes, all that kind of stuff. And a lot of that stuff, we all need, you know, that kind of stuff. We all need it. And don't get me wrong. And it's not bad to want things that are better than what you have. But it seems like some people are just stuck in the rut of that's what you spend your money on. You spend your money on the bigger house, the bigger SUV, the bigger vacation, the bigger whatever. And um, it's like they don't really realize or they don't want to or whatever. Some, something's gone wrong where they don't realize that they should be saving and investing a good portion of their money. Like, like if you get a bonus or a raise or um, you should almost act like you didn't get it, like in terms of like not spending it, you should take the extra money that you get from a raise or the money you get from a bonus and basically sock it away, put it into an investment accounts, at least a good portion of it. You can spend some of it. It's good to spend some, you know, to reward yourself for hard work and all that kind of good stuff, but you really should invest for the long term. Otherwise, you're going to end up in a world of hurt as you approach retirement, as you go into retirement. The, the rich, the wealthy, they will they will save and invest the vast majority of their money for the future. And that's, if, if you want to become wealthy, if you want to truly join the ranks of, of the truly wealthy, the, the true rich, um, that's what you need to do. You need to sock away your money. You need to stick it into wise investments that, you know, earn some kind of yield. For ex example, dividend ETFs or dividend stocks were invested into real estate that, that produces passive income or or invested into high growth assets like cryptocurrency, right? You need to invest in things like that. Most people, you know, don't really take investing seriously. They kind of live for the day, live for the moment, have a very short sighted view of things. The rich have a long term view. They they look they look what's going to happen 10, 20, 30, 40 years down the line and they 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 make take actions based on what they want the outcome to be like for me it's like i look at like what i want my life to be like when i'm 70 and it's like that that you know that's like 20 plus years out for me right now and but i still plan for it like i plan on like having everything everything that i possibly want 
well in advance of 70 so that by the time I get to 70 it's uh, it's no brainer it's super easy breezy for me to have the lifestyle that I want to be able to support myself my family pay for my vehicles pay for my houses go on trips all that stuff using my passive cash flow that are coming directly from my investments I don't want to have to withdraw um, you know, money from my accounts by selling stocks. I don't want to, have to sell anything. I don't want to sell my assets. I want my assets to produce income for me. And so that's, that's the path that I've been going down on. Like I've talked about this in previous videos that I put out, like I, you know, I, I have, you know, investments in passive income, dip, dividend ETFs, dividend stocks. And then I've got some in the, the growth assets like cryptocurrency, but uh, as I mentioned in the past, like the primary use or purpose of my, my, my growth assets like cryptocurrency are to grow quickly so that I can sell them and I can turn around and put the profits into dividend ETFs and dividend stocks because I want that passive cash flow and that's going to build up the reserves and everything I want in the future. So it's really something to really take into account if you want to have a uh, secure retirement, a secure future, a retirement at any age, right? Just a secure future in general, but about a secure retirement at any age that you get to to the point where you say, hey, I'm going to retire. You could retire when you're 40 or 50 or 60 or 70 or whatever age, but just you, you want to make sure that you're set whenever you get to that point. Um, <clears throat> oh, by the way, standard disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice whatsoever. I'm just a dude in my Jeep sharing my story, sharing my thoughts. Okay, so that's a disclaimer that I put in. I hate having to put that disclaimer in. It's like, geez, I'm just a dude moji. But anyway, I have to put that in. But if you haven't, if you haven't like done done the research, if you haven't taken the time to learn about investing and learn about the, the, the stocks, the ETFs, the asset classes that you can invest in, you should do that now. Like the YouTube is a wonderful resource for finding out information about that there are a ton of channels that talk about dividend stocks and cryptocurrency and all that kind of stuff and, and why it would be good for retirement just do a search do a search for dividend retirement or for example and see what comes you know what comes back in the search result and start watching videos get familiar with that kind of stuff um i want you guys to be you know in the top one percent of of wealth out there okay it's like there's to be in the top one percent of wealth requires a lot a lot of money and you, and you can get there if you guys apply yourselves if you invest wisely if you do the, do do your research do do the homework and apply yourself you can do it there is there was something i saw i read something maybe it was something somebody posted on social media a couple of years ago um and it related to entrepreneurs, but it also applies to, to wealth in general. And the image said something to, you know, the saying on the image said something to the effect of work while they play, work while they sleep so you can live the life they only dream of. And that is so true. Like work while they play, work while they sleep so you can live the life that they only dream of. So while other people are blowing their money on stupid shit, don't be doing that. Take some time to do the research learn learn as much as you can about investing and put your money into wise investments you have to do that if you're not sure about what to do talk to a financial advisor and let them help you but youtube is full of wonderful information that can really get you up and running with um just great ideas for your investments so take advantage of of what we have here but that that's it folks i mean that's most people are screwed like with their retirement, with their savings. Like when I, when I hear about the, the average savings rates and, and the average debt load that people have, as well as the, like the median, uh, 401k balances out there, man, most people are in serious trouble. And it's, if unfortunately for a lot of people, like they don't have the time to turn around and make changes. A lot of people enter retirement with a very low 401k balances, not a whole lot of assets and a whole bunch of debt. And that means that they don't have any time to change their their lifestyle, like their, their financial outcome. So take advantage of time. Time is on your side. Time works with you if you if you have the time, if you make the most of your time. But time works against you if you waste your time, right? And you lose time. So you've got to take the time to learn 
And then you have to take time to take action. And you have to keep taking action continuously and continuously every paycheck, every year. You know, take that spare money that you have. Make sure you have spare money. Take that spare money you have. Save it and invest it wisely. And it will pay off for you guys in the long run. Hope you guys are doing well. Just wanted to share my thoughts on this. I've been watching a lot of videos with content on this kind of stuff. And it's, it's super depressing. And I just want to do my part in just saying something about it on YouTube. It's like people need to, people really need to change the way they invest and the way they live so that they can actually have a successful, happy, flourishing financial future. And I hope that is every single one of you who watches this video. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. I don't know when it's going to be. I'm super busy with work. Uh, follow me on the Nagia Stories channel if you want to watch what I'm putting out there. But I will eventually come back and do another video on this channel um, on something. I will see you guys later. Until then, good luck. God bless. Godspeed.